here's what we're going to do. We're going to see how many of you guys can be supported with one ponytail's worth of human hair. Right. Come here and put your finger yeah. through that. Oh, wow. OK? That's Anyone else want to check it out? Vincent, yeah, have do. a look. Yes, I do. And can you confirm Still. that that is human hair? That is human hair. Right. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so, for this experiment, I've built a metal standing frame and attached it to a crane by a ponytail of human hair. And in case it all goes wrong, there's a safety strap. So how many human beings can we lift with one ponytail's worth of hair on Danny Boy's crane? I say zero. Right, how many do you reckon? I think five. OK, I think one, one more. Everyone. Sydney at the back says everyone. Should we find out? Who wants to find out? Should we do this? Yes. Yes. yes! Right, Danny Boy, spark up the crane. So, how many people in the group can be held up by one ponytail of human hair? Is it none, five, all ten of us, or none of the above? You said none, so I will use you, please, round here, and I'll use Sydney as well. Are you guys ready holding on? Yes. In three, two, two one. one. Take it up, Danny boy. Look at that. The hair has managed to support two people so far. Let's stick some more on. You guys, let's get on it. But what about if I add another three? Ready? Ooh, oh, incredibly, a single ponytail can take oh the weight of God. five people. But how far can I push it? Well, the hair has started fraying, but I want to go the distance and double it up to see if a single ponytail can take the weight of our entire group. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go up. Let's take it up a bit. So, incredibly, the answer was C. The single ponytail of human hair was strong enough to take the combined weight of 10 people. That is around 1,700 pounds. But what I want to know is, can I take my experiment even further? That's right, I'm doubling up the weight again using my car, weighing in at over 3,400 pounds. The hair started fraying when I lifted just five people. So how will it cope with my beloved ranchero? Now, I'll tell you the truth here, we haven't done this before. I've never done this before. I have no idea if it's even possible. We've got the same hair as we used just now to carry our slot. What do you guys think is going to happen? I'm not sure. 50 /50. I don't think so. No, I don't think no, so. no. Who wants to see this? Yes! yes. Right. Let's do it. So, with my volunteers eager to see if the ponytail can hold up my car, Danny starts the crane. You can see the hair? Is it failing yet? There's the tension being taken at the moment. The car is beginning to lift. As the hair takes the strain, it starts fraying yet again under the extreme tension. It's up at the front. Oh, my God, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! We've what? just lifted a car with human hair. Oh, and if you want proof, God. it's actually wow. airborne. What? That is me swinging. That is so cool. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, my God. Unbelievably, even after holding 10 people in the air, the ponytail was still able to lift my car. But how on earth is that possible? Hair is made of keratin. Keratin is a protein. Protein is basically the building blocks of life. If you zoom in on a piece of hair using a microscope, it'll actually look exactly the same as that metal twine you've got up there. It's intertwined, it's super strong. And if you ever want a reminder of just how strong hair is, you only have to think about how often you need to replace the blades when you're shaving. 